More and more people move to the Coastal Empire. There is one thing parents are seeing lots of long wait list at early learning centers. Our Anna Stansfield spoke with one parent in the area along with the learning center to see what these wait lists are like. Folks with Thrive Early Learning Center say they understand those frustrations because they went through some of the same things just a few years ago and that's what led them to opening this learning center. I remember when I was on the parent side of things, which was just three years ago, nobody explained waitlist to me and I thought, how could you not know when a spot's going to open? Now Steinhoff sees all that goes on behind the scenes. You don't really see all that's going on in the schools. There's a lot logistically into filling a spot. Keith McCant says he's been trying to get his son into a learning center in the area for a while. Just the wait list, the time, some of them last up to six months or to an hour, uh, not an hour, but one year. McCant says this waiting led to a change in his family's routine. It got to a point where my wife had to pretty much, you know, had to take off from work basically be home without a son every day. McCant said the waiting also makes him concerned for his son's well-being. I worry, I worry about him getting behind as far as development, his social skills with other kids. Something that Steinhoff says is not an unfamiliar feeling to her. And it was very frustrating and discouraging. I'm still on some wait list from yeah. three years ago from places that I tried to get my boys into. But she encourages parents like McCants to stay with it. Just, again, be patient with the process. Know that we want to get people off of the wait list, too. I love making those phone calls. Steinhoff says right now Thrive Early Learning has a few open positions for parents wanting to get their students enrolled in programs for pre-K and infant, too. Reporting in Richmond Hill, Anna Stansfield, WTOC News.